to the east of the Desert Realm, accessible only via the uncharted ocean, is the realm of the dragons, the Firelands. Ruled over by the fearsome Dragon Lord, this nation once posed a threat to the land now known as the Ondarian Monarchy, when it went by its former name of the Antius Empire. For centuries prior to the fall of the Empire, countless wars had been fought against the winged enemy. Only when the Empire crumbled and the Ondarian Monarchy arose in its place, did the dragons find a foe brave enough to stand up to them. Only the Tyrant King ever forged an alliance, and the rebellion that rose against him formed elite fighting forces from the Forest Realm to combat the beasts. Eventually the ultimate sacrifice was made, and the dragons were banished back to the Firelands, never to return. Or so it seems. The Dragon Lord has awoken and has received news that the leader of the vampires, Lord Volkov, is preparing to send a special envoy to broker an alliance with the dragons once more. Not only that, but the Tyrant King is slowly stirring, and the monarchy lives in fear of the vengeance he will strike upon them. The Dragon Lord is prepared to listen and to learn, but it will be some time before the envoy arrives. Therefore, he must prepare for the future, and is in talks with his human servant. I have news from the continent of Monarca. It had better be good news, Gustus. The last minister who brought me bad news found themselves between my jaws as I devoured them. Might I remind you, my lord, that the event you speak of took place over 367 years ago. I am currently your 679th Minister of State. That long cast us. Well, let us hope you don't help to revive the trend of my devouring your kind. I have managed to keep my hunger satisfied through the sacrifices you perform annually. Indeed. The offerings go willingly, of course. Mind you, we have to use many different plants and fungi to help them accept their fate. It makes no difference to me if they come willingly or not. It keeps me satisfied, and therefore I am less likely to rise upon the warm air currents and devour your villages. Now, tell me, what news do you bring? The vampires are preparing for war. We have news that the Tyrant King is stirring and is waiting to return to our reality. <laughs> thought it was against the Tyrant King. I assumed that he was the core of the reasoning behind the Rebellion. It matters not whom the Rebellion was against. They fought against us. Even the Forest Realm raised an army of Dragon Hunters. That's the not-so-good news. Indeed, they have. 
At the moment, it is a small band of hunters currently on a mission in the mountains far to the west. But if they prove successful, more units are being planned for foundation. I'm not surprised. Nor is this revelation unwelcomed. Where the dragons go, there will always be a resistance against us. No matter. me to start training my riders. I will have them ready and paired with your most elite siblings in due time. My siblings are already paired with your riders. They have been since birth. Such is the trust they share. The training begins in earnest. You are to see that it goes without issue. Understand, my lord. It shall be so according to your laws and teachings. I shall see to it that they begin their training in earnest. Send word to my generals. Have them meet me here in the next few weeks. They will have to come from every province of our empire. my lord. Do you wish me to call together the mages also? We may need their powers of divination to work out our plan for the future. What news of the dark mages? I have not heard from them in a number of centuries. We have the understanding they are currently residing in the city of Drevin, working with Lord Volkov. Their leader, Boris Beardsvold, is preparing to return the corpse they need to bring back the Tyrant King from the Desert Room. And what of the crown? What do we know for certain about the crown itself? It was found and then lost. There are a number of people searching for it, including a pair of private investigators. Private investigators? Who? We understand that they go by the name of Trajan of Gebora and Cleo of Avalon. She comes from the Savannah Lands to the southeast of the Desert Realm. Cleo of Avalon! You know her, my lord. I know of her. In our language, she is referred to as the Arab Man. Bringer of nightmares. But how and why? That is for another time, Castus. I am certain that she and I will cross paths. I doubt she will remember our first encounter. But only because it was so very long ago. Would you like me to keep a tab upon her and her friend? Perhaps have spies follow them? Perhaps, but she is not to be had. Nor is her friend. We need to know what she is capable of. Thinking about it, we need to know if she is still a threat to plan on. You fear her then? Fear her. Dragons do not fear. We know she is a threat to our very existence. But if she has forgotten this, the advantage will be ours. I don't fully understand. However, I feel it is not my place to do so. It isn't Castus.
Of course, my lord. I would not expect to know everything you have experienced in your long and eventful life. It is most unwise to take such a state of mind with me, Castus. Now be gone. I have much I need to think about before we move onwards with our plan. Just let me know when you have had a response from the generals. Understood, my lord. With the dragons awaken, and their followers preparing for war. It is only a matter of time until they make their presence known once more to the Ondarian monarchy. Lord Volkov is preparing to send an envoy to the Firelands to speak with the dragons in the hope of brokering an alliance, something which the Dragon Lord is keen to see succeed. The news, however, that Cleo of Avalon lives and is now working in the Desert Realm has surprised the Dragon Lord. Yet, he does not seem worried by this, as he considers himself to have the advantage. Just how does his past entwine with that of Cleo's, and just why is he so interested in her? There are more revelations on the way, it seems, and the dragons are beginning to awaken.